told you that study. Now, wouldn't you assume 300 hours invested that they saw some pretty good results? I, I would. Here's the results, okay? Average in the men's group over the year lost 4.2 pounds. Oh. Now, I, they didn't say what they do with nutrition, anything else. They just started having to do slow duration cardio. Women average over the year, entire year, over 300 hours invested 6.2 pounds average. I don't know about you. I don't have 300 hours to invest and get that kind of return. That's a horrible return. You agree with me? Yeah. <laughs> so you're saying, well, that's great. What's the most effective way to exercise? What's the most effective way to burn calories? All right, I already told you it takes two things to burn fat calories, right? You've, you've got to release the fat, and then you've got to send it to the lean muscle to be burned as energy. Everybody stand up for me. Now, I'm not going to, listen, I'm not going to have you throw up. I know you just ate. I just want to try this example home for you, okay? Now, Every, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, everybody, everybody's just going to do one or two reps, but I want to give you an example here, okay? Everybody knows what a jumping jack is? Mm -hmm. Just give me two reps. Just do two reps, a jumping jack. Two reps of a jumping jack. Stop there. Imagine, because you just ate. You just ate. I don't want anybody throwing up, all right? I don't want anybody throwing up. You just ate. But imagine we did that just now for 25 to 40 seconds, okay? Now, we went straight from there. Come on, everybody give me two push-ups. Oh, I don't do push-ups. Two push-ups. They hurt. Of course they hurt. Somebody give me two push-ups. I can't even fit. Watch your head on that table. You get some butts up here, girl. Jump it up. Imagine we did that right after we did the jumping jacks. We did the push-ups, all right, for 25 to 40 seconds. Everybody right here, high knees in place. Just right here. Oh Just give me about three to five seconds. Then move your own to car. Really perfect. Okay, everybody stop. I don't want anybody throwing up. All right. Now, imagine, imagine we did that following the last two exercises we did, and then we added two or three more exercises, and we went through that, okay? Each, each exercise, say five to eight exercises, 25 to 40 seconds, back to back. Say we did two sets through. That's... Uh, say that's 12 minutes workout, 8 to 12 minute workout. And you worked at a high intensity. So you're going hard the time you're going. If it's 10 seconds, 25 seconds, you're going hard. <coughs> you know what you just did? If you work out like that versus the slow steady cardio, you just showed your body how to speed up your metabolism. You just turned your body into a fat burning furnace. You know what the best benefit is? You burned fat calories instead of just calories why? Because you're combining the conditioning, the cardiovascular work, all right, the jumping jacks, the high knees, along with the resistance training. So you're building a lean muscle mass so your body can send the fat over to lean muscle mass to be burned as energy. Coolest benefit when you exercise like that, high intensity interval training, post-workout. Have a seat for me. Post-workout, that means after you're done exercising, the 8 to 12 minutes, if we just did that in this room for 8 to 12 minutes, if we didn't eat, I would have put you through it. All right, we would have did, did a four minute one, okay? Picture this, post-workout when you're done exercising, you still have your body in that fat burning, burning mode for up to 48 hours post-workout. Not four to eight, 48, up to. Do you know how long you keep your body in a fat burning mode when you do slow, steady cardio? Max two hours post-workout. <coughs> I understand how you've been lied to.